Hey folks, Robbie Payne here again with Chrome Unboxed. Coming at you today with an unboxing of the C720P. Uh, the difference in this particular device and the one that is on my channel before, actually I've got two other C720P devices unboxed and reviewed on the, on the channel as well. The difference in this guy is this is actually the touchscreen model in the gray and black version with four gigs. So we're not gonna see a whole lot of new stuff here, but I wanted to unbox it um, on screen because, well, I just know that you guys like that stuff, so. And Acer's tape is always very pesky. I'm gonna try to do this without ripping the box up, but. If I succeeded here. Mm -hmm. It's going to rip again. Go figure. It's insanely difficult, and from what I've understood, I'm not the only person that's had issues with that thing. So without further ado, here we are, and again, as I say, setup guides, very simple, get it out, plug it in, turn it on, it's Chromebook, and we're seeing it packaging um, exactly like the other ones, um, charging block, all that good stuff, and here we are. Acer C720P. Now we'll be interested to see what the screen looks like on the inside because uh, it's not the matte finish screen. Um, for those of you who haven't seen the other video, maybe you're just tuning in and seeing uh, this channel for the first time, I'll quickly walk around this guy. We've got the um, USB, sorry, USB 2.0. Get focused in here. USB 2.0 Kensington lock, full uh, size SD card slot over on the other side. You've got 3.0 USB, combo headphone microphone jack, full-size HDMI, and your power slot across the back. Some fans, more fans on the bottom, feet. The beautiful thing about the Acer C720, you can take these screws out, pop this guy open, replace the solid state. There's lots of people who have done so. Uh, if I end up keeping this, which is my plan to start working from this guy for a little while, um, I probably will actually do that. Um, purchase maybe a 64 gig solid state or 128, something like that and place it in here. And so if I do that, I will uh, make a video of showing you guys how that's done. Pop it open here. You got the big sticker that says, hey, I'm a touch screen. Uh, it's very excited about that. Let me focus back here. Okay, now we're starting up here. And I will say, um, the reason I decided to do this was because I found the four gig version. I want to say it was the 350. Uh, so it's got four gigs, touch screen, all the goodies. Um, for whatever reason, uh, of late, I've been working from my wife's Acer C720 um, from time to time. And just finding myself enjoying it. And then around the living room and stuff, a lot of times just grabbing it to look something up real quick or uh, move through something. So um, I thought, you know, I really like this device and the screen is no better or worse than any of the other screens. And I've, I've gone on about that at length. Um, and so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna give this one another try as a work computer. Of late, I've also been hooking my uh, device into a external monitor and kind of using it that way. So, uh, really not a big deal as far as it being a smaller device I can actually use it uh, around the house I'm not going to get into uh, anything else here I'll, I'll come back with a review kind of saying hey here's it versus the HP 14 which now this is exactly the same spec as the HP 14 internally same Haswell 2995U uh, same 4 gigs of RAM all that good stuff so we're seeing a very similar Chrome experience here minus the fact that this is a smaller lighter um, Maybe not quite as equally well built device, but pretty close. Both with very um, less than spectacular screens. But this one has touch, so in your lap, sitting on the couch at home, using a touch screen is, is a kind of a nice touch. So I right, see what I did there. 
anyway, um, I'm going to spend some time with this. Like I said, I, I plan on making this my work device. So um, the review will maybe be a little bit more in depth. But I just want to show you guys uh, that this device does exist. Uh, a 4 gig Acer C720P is out there. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, I got it pretty quickly. Like I said, around $350, $360. So um, it's a great price for basically the, the highest end, um, low end, you know, take the pixel out. This is the highest end kind of that Chromebooks get for right now until Acer unveils the i3 uh, model of this guy. And so um, that's all for today. Uh, like I said, I'll be back in, I don't know, a week or so and kind of give you my thoughts as I'm using this guy as my primary device work-wise. I know I ran into some issues with the RAM and stuff like that with the, the original C720P. So it'll be a really interesting comparison this go around. Guys, thanks for tuning in. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe down below and uh, stick around. There's lots more Chromebook stuff coming. Y'all have a good one.